Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're in the right place at the right time. It must be Tuesday at 5 o'clock because it's time for the Ask Dr. Ron live on Facebook. And I am so happy to have my lovely co-host over there, Miss Fiona. How you doing, Miss Fiona? Good. How are you today, Dr. Ron? Doing great. Doing great. I'm just going to start saying she's in Studio B and I'm in Studio A. <laughs> and we're right. here to do what we do. How's that? Is that good? <laughs> that sounds perfect to me. All right. Good, 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 good. So, um, you know, we have a wonderful uh, informational guest coming on today. Miss Ray Williams with the uh, tax superheroes that are going to be giving us all kind of information for the upcoming tax season. So I'm so excited about that. So uh, if you guys have questions about taxes uh, and all those type of things, which I know Miss Fiona does, because I don't have to do taxes, so I ain't got to worry about that kind of stuff. I'm retired, okay? <laughs> but for those that uh, do have questions, we're going to try and get answers for you today. So I'm so excited about looking forward to her coming on the show in a little bit. So uh, how, how's it been going for you this week, Miss Fiona? It's been everything I'm asking for. I just get a peace of mind until it all hustle and bustle starts again. But I can't complain. Oh, that's right. You're on vacation right now. Yes. See, people, uh, yeah. people that have real jobs go on vacation. See, I don't have to do that kind of stuff, so I don't <laughs> have to worry about them kind of things. You know, I do not have real jobs. <laughs> you know? Yeah, although, although doing this is a job, okay? Y'all just don't right. know it's a labor of love, you know, putting these shows together, making it um, possible for you guys to be able to get all the uh, information that we put out there and, uh, you know, and, and, and working with people's schedules to make sure we get them in so you guys can uh, see how hard we work at doing what we do. So um, I know a minute ago you were just talking about uh, Kwanzaa. So yes. Go ahead. Tell us what you got to say. Oh, well, today is day three of Kwanzaa, and it is Umo Emojima, if I'm saying that correct. Ujima? Ujima. Ujima. Okay. Ujima. Ujima. Look at That's what it's called. I, if I'm incorrect, please, I apologize. Anyway, the meaning of it means work collectively. And today, I definitely think that is the day that we work collectively with Ms. Williams coming in. So I'm looking forward to that. So we are definitely in a line with what we're supposed to be doing today. All right now. Putting out some mm -hmm. good information. I like that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So look, I'm going to jump right into my uh, speech that I normally give on the uh, top of the show so we can get forward further in the show so we can have plenty of time to get our questions in uh, with our guest, Ms. Williams. Uh, we can get her on the line with us so we can get, get this knowledge out there. Uh, first thing I want to do is give a shout out to all of the healthcare uh workers that are in the healthcare field people that are out there risking their lives doing what they do trying to keep our family and loved ones alive uh we thank you we give you a shout out each and every time that we go live because we appreciate all that you do um i heard someone say a couple of weeks ago that um we need to start referring to our healthcare workers as heroes so i'm going to start doing that as well so our healthcare heroes and the reason why I wear this shirt that I wear is in solidarity to all of our healthcare heroes. As long as we do not have all clear with Corona, I'm going to continue to wear this in solidarity to support our healthcare workers. So uh, I'm excited. Uh, we're going into a new year. Um, there's many family and friends that have had to go through hospitals dealing with Corona and with them, they have made it. They have survived and I thank them and I give them a shout out. I salute them each and every time I go live. Uh, also, I wanna give a shout out to all of the pastors, all of our spiritual leaders that are out there doing what they do, keeping us motivated, uplifted, doing what they're doing to 
to guide us spiritually through this uh, murky waters of what's going on out here. So if you've got a spiritual leader or someone that you look up to, uh, pray for them. Keep them uplifted in a time like this because we need to keep them encouraged. Uh, special shout out to uh, Dr. Hunt, uh, Dr. Lord Michael Hunt. You know, if you do not know who he is and you're not familiar with him, you can always scroll down on my Facebook Live and you will see some of his messages and some of his inspiration that he has been putting out. He has been working all through this uh, uh, coronavirus uh, since the beginning in March. He has been going on every day, bringing out words of inspiration and encouragement. Also, you can find some of his videos on my YouTube channel. I begin to start posting some of his messages there, some of his archive, so you can find him easily. You can just click on the videos and enjoy them. Uh, like the videos. Let him know that you're watching. All right. And then also we want to give a shout out to all of the people that have lost loved ones during this year. Um, this is the last show of the year of 2020. And uh, there have been many people that did not make it through the year. Um, and family members that are left behind uh, that are suffering because they did not get a chance to say goodbye to their loved ones the way they would like to. And I know it's a very difficult time. Um, you know, so we just been saying a special prayer for you, keep you uplifted and encouraged. Uh, at a time like this, if you lost a loved one, uh, we're praying for you. Okay. Um, information. 19,410,000 cases of corona in the United States. We have lost 336,000 people to corona in the United States. Those, that's a lot of people. 336,000 people um, that are lost to corona on, uh, in the United States. And this information is provided by CNN, uh, and they and they got it from John Hopkins University. I, I, you know, I just want to let you know how serious this is. You know how serious this coronavirus is. It is very serious, and we want to try and keep people uh, aware of what's going on. So you can wear your mask, keep your distance, you know, and and try to survive this thing because it's not gone anywhere. It is still. Here. Corona is still out here. And the season uh, in Chicago has gotten worse. You know, uh, the weather is getting bad. So, you know, I expect it to be another spike because, it's, you know, we had Christmas, we got New Year's coming up. I expect it to be another spike. So I'm hoping that a lot of people take this thing seriously and keep their distance. Do not try to uh, celebrate like you normally would celebrate. Take this thing seriously and stay alive, you know? So those are my announcements. I want to get those in and out the way. Um, and so now, Miss Fiona, uh, this yes. is the last show of the year. So mm -hmm. do you have any big plans coming up for the uh, New Year's this week? I do. I am planning on going to a small occasion on New Year's, but nothing major. Like you said, I'm trying to stay low and stay small. So, like I've been doing this whole quarantine here in Chicago. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. smart. That's smart because you know uh, yeah. I plan on staying at home. You know, I I I still got some cognac left over from uh, Christmas that I'm gonna be mm -hmm. sipping on real slow and easy <laughs> all the way up till midnight. You know, if I start Absolutely. too early, I'll be asleep when midnight get here. <laughs> <laughs> but my plan is to still be woke when Absolutely. when the New Year's comes in. So mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, quick shout out. Uh, uh, shout out to Mama White that's on the line. I know she just recently lost a loved one. We want to give her a shout out as well. Uh, we got Dorothy Hillard on the line. Shout out to you. And uh, my brother Carl Davis Jr. is on the line. That's the son of the legendary Carl Davis. Uh, his father uh, had established 
the red, legendary uh, Shy Town record label and Shy Sound here in the Chicagoland area. All of the Chicago um, music, it was like the Motown of Chicago. So people may not have known that, but Carl pops in from time to time. Glad to see him on the line. Um, and joining us for the last uh, broadcast of the year. Uh, that don't even sound right. That sounds so, I know, you know, right? sound like it's like it's <laughs> going to be over with soon. No, 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 no. We're going to be doing some new shows next year. So you right. all you all can stand back because we're going to be doing it bigger and better in next year as well. Um, we're going to go right now because I definitely want to give our uh, guests plenty of time. So we're going to go to our commercial right now. Uh, the first thing that you guys are going to hear is going to be uh, my theme song. And then we're going to talk about all of our advertisers that are on the uh, website. And y'all stand by. Here we go. First thing I want to do is invite you to go over to my website, ask-dr-ron.com. When you get over there, it's going to be a lot of good information that you can browse through and uh, see on the website. And we want you to scroll down to the place where you see our advertisers and check out our advertisers. Uh, we're going to talk about them right now. Uh, National Black Club University has been with me for a while. And um, uh, Cyron Smith uh, has a plan that can help bring safety to your community block by block. Uh, he has a plan that he's been doing for a very long time. Uh, click on the banner. It'll take you over to his website. Uh, he works with <clears throat> protecting young children, senior citizens, and families. So if you want to know the details of his plan, click on this banner and it'll take you right over to his website. Okay. Also, we have, uh, we don't want to talk about them right now because we're going to be, uh, we're going to be talking. There we go. Prince Hunter Financial Group. Uh, Prince Hunter is offering two free classes. If you are interested in finding out on how to do stock trading, Forex trading, uh, he will be able to teach you how to become a financial trader. Click on the banner. It'll take you right over to his website and you'll be able to talk to him, get your two free classes and you're interested in learning about how to do stock trading, okay? Also, we have RRJ Webb. Uh, Mr. Ralph Jenkins has been with me for many, many years. And uh, if you have an idea or a concept that you would like to bring to the World Wide Web, uh, Mr. Jenkins is the person that you want to talk to. Uh, he can work with you to get it out of your head and get it onto a website. He does hosting. He does web design. Uh, anything dealing with web solutions, Mr. Jenkins can help you. Click on the banner. It'll take you right over to his website, and you'll be able to talk to him about trying to get your uh, website up. Uh, Chief Nomo's Oasis. Now, Chief Nomo brings in 
uh, products from the west coast of Africa, oils, soaps, clothing, uh, anything from the west coast of Africa that we're not accustomed to having here in Chicago, he brings it in. Also, moringa seeds. He brings in moringa seeds to help you improve your health. Also, alkaline water. He can tell you how beneficial alkaline water can be to your health. All you have to do is click on the banner. It'll take you over to his website. Give him a call. Tell him you want to make an appointment to talk about how to improve your health. And he will help you do that. And let's see. Pour it again, Sam one of my favorite advertisers. He brings in some of the best wines and spirits from all over the world. And he brings it right here to the Chicagoland area. Uh, Sam has gotten some of his holiday inventory in. Uh, I was just with Sam last week, right before Christmas. That's why I got my cognac. And I tell you, it is so good. If you enjoy fine wine, click on the banner. It'll take you over to his website and you'll get an opportunity to talk to Sam and see what he has in inventory. Your sweet wines, dry wines, cognacs. Uh, he's got it. Give him a call. You want to talk to him and find out before he runs out because he will run out. Okay. And new to the show, uh, uh, tax, super tax heroes. Uh, quick fishing tax services. Ms. Ray Williams is our guest today as well. And uh, she is offering all of the information that you need to know about this upcoming tax season. And um, uh, I saved this one for last because she's holding on the line and we're looking forward to getting her to answer all of our questions. But she is also has a, a a banner on the website if you click on the banner you'll be able to uh, go over there and uh, see all of her information to be able to talk to her about what to expect in the upcoming tax season so welcome to the show miss uh, ray williams well thank you for what a lovely introduction yes 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 welcome we're glad to have you here um, you know, and also as a sponsor, because without you, we can't do what we do. So we appreciate, you know, you know, you becoming a new sponsor to the show. And it's very timely, too. Even, you know, you and I were talking uh, about a week or so ago. And, um, and, and, and for you, you were telling us that uh, really tax season never stops. That's correct. Tax season is all year. Yeah. So it, now you need to pay your taxes by ideally by april 15th you will file and pay but there are you know plenty of people who do not uh, you have people that file extensions and they have to file by october 15th and then you have people who just don't care you know i had a lady this year uh, she filed taxes for the past 10 years because now the irs is of course after her for the taxes she hasn't paid. So you don't want to find yourself in that situation. So ideally you want to file for the current year uh, by April 15th. Mm, okay. So um, <laughs> 10 years? <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> a long time. But she owes about $200,000. <laughs> so wait a minute. Oh, did, did they come down and take her Mickey Mouse watch away from her before they got her attention or something? <laughs> No, they were threatening to take a Mickey Mouse watch. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, for those that don't know, it was a terrible story. Um, a very well-known comedian, um, uh, Red Fox, you know, um, before he had passed away, the IRS came down and uh, uh, they took his house, took his Mickey Mouse watch away from him. And, you know, I mean, literally, he was crying on TV because his feeling, he loved that watch, you know, because they came down on him oh, real wow. hard. They took everything. And um, it, it was the guest, he was a guest on, on a uh, late night talk show, and the guest awarded him a new Mickey Mouse watch. So it was a happy ending to that particular story. But the IRS is cruel, you know, they have yes, no they mercy whatsoever. 
So, you know, the fact that they sent her a letter threatening her, you know, I guess she did the right thing by responding. Right. Well, usually they have contacted you by mail several times. And, you know, just to be leery of scams, they never call you. They're going to send you a letter in the mail. And if you owe a lot of money, they're going to send you a certified letter in the mail. So no one's ever going to call you and say, you know, you owe this money, you know, cash app us money. IRS doesn't work like that. Okay. But you definitely don't want to find yourself uh, owing them money because they. I tell people you're either going to pay it uh, voluntarily or they're going to take it away from you. They're going to get their money. Wow. Say so no way around it. No, or you can wind up in jail like Al Capone. Plenty of people go to jail for tax evasion. <laughs> I heard mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So do you use that story when you get new customers? Like uh, you can pay them now or you're going to pay them later. You know, do you use stories like that. I do. Okay. I really do. You know, I had a guy uh, more recently. He works for ComEd and he makes about $200,000 a year. And for the past five years, he's been filing exempt because he read in a book somewhere that he doesn't have to pay taxes if he doesn't want to. Oh, and wow. so he didn't want to. And uh, I think I read that book. <laughs> 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 but now, now on that point, that was before Ronald Reagan changed the tax laws, right? And, and, and so at some point in time, um, I, according to that book, you know, taxes were a voluntary thing, but after Ronald Reagan changed the tax law, it became not a voluntary thing anymore. Now you got to pay taxes if you live in the United States. Is that correct? That is correct. Or if you live in one of his possessions like Puerto Rico. Okay. So you mean I can't go to Puerto Rico and not pay taxes? I got to pay taxes over there too? Right. No. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Boy, you just full of good news today, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, uh, finish the your... The good news is, Go ahead. if you file your taxes on time and pay what you owe, and all the time, you might not owe because there are plenty of credits and refundable credits, so you might get a refund. And even if you're not required to file a tax return, you may want to file anyway if you qualify for some of the refundable credits. Okay. So and I, I know Ms. Fiona, because we were talking at the pre-show, Ms. Fiona got a whole list of questions for you. So, Ms. Fiona, you going to go ahead on and pick up brain while we got time? I sure will. How are you doing today, Ms. Williams? I'm well, Fiona. How are you? I can't complain. Thank you for asking. Uh, the first question I have to ask is, what are some benefits to utilizing and completing personal and business taxes? Well, as far as personal taxes concerned. The one thing I just mentioned, if you qualify for any of the refundable tax credits, uh, like the earned income credit, the child tax credit, uh, the American Opportunity Credit for people in college, uh, the credit for, what is this, federal tax on fuels, the premium tax credit, and the health coverage tax credit. So if you qualify for any of those, that's just free money, basically. So, and a credit is something that is deducted off of what you owe. So that's after you've taken all your deductions, if you take the de standard deduction, or if you itemize. After that, then you'll come across uh, what, how much tax you owe. So once you know how much tax you owe, then you start uh, seeing what credits you qualify for and the credits deduct from how much tax you owe. And then if you have more credits than you owe tax, you get a refund. Okay. Now, as far as business taxes, you definitely want to file those uh, if the IRS discovers that you've not been filing your taxes, then you'll be guilty of tax evasion. So you don't ever want to find yourself in that situation. And all the time, business owners, you know, you may not owe tax because uh, you have, even though you're in business and you're generating an income, but you have business expenses. You may have a phone. You may have, you know, 
car expenses if you you know are mobile and you travel to your clients uh you if you have a home office then you have business deductions for uh your home use the part of your house that you use for your home office so you know there are a variety of reasons why you want to file a tax return and most of the time is to your benefit mm -hmm. Okay, and you had answered the question um, previously about the like Al Capone being tax evasion, having tax evasion. Could you clarify? Is there a limited amount of money that you have to um, complete your taxes on, or is it just at any in, any earned income you have to um, claim taxes? For a but, business, it's any income. Okay. Now, for personal, it varies every year. And so what you have to do is either go to the IRS website or uh, get one of their 1040 uh, booklets, and then you can look it up. So <clears throat> there's a chart that tells you, and it varies according to your filing status. If you're single, married, filing jointly, head of household, uh, qualified widow, or uh, married, filing separate. And then it depends on are you over 65 or under 65. Mm -hmm. So there's a limit. So for instance, for this year, single, under 65, if your gross income is less than 12,200, you don't have to file. But mm -hmm. if it's more than that, then you have to file. If you were over 65 and single, your gross income has to be less than 13,850. And then you, if it's more than that, you have to file. Okay. So for each uh, filing status, it's different. So, so a quick question: um, the tax bill that uh, number forty-five had in place did not benefit the 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 lower income people. They have a wind up not getting anything back as a as a, as a return. Um, he actually favored people that had, you know, lots and lots of money. So that's what we're, or what people are filing taxes on now. Well, no, actually what Donald Trump did was reduce the amount of withholding people had. Mm -hmm. And it had people confused. Mm -hmm. So yes, you were getting more money back each week in your paycheck, okay. but it was only because your employer was not holding the correct amount of federal tax. So for instance, uh, the average person should have withheld 20% of their gross income. Uh, and a minimum of 10%. But you had another thing that was going around the past couple of years is people filing exempt, meaning uh, your employer is taking no federal tax out of your check each week. So that's what Donald Trump did was just lower the amount of withholding because legally your employer is supposed to take out a certain amount and it varies when you fill out the form when they hire you fill out a W-4. So they take out according to how many dependents you say and, you know, however you complete that form. But legally, they're supposed to take out a certain amount. They're supposed to withhold. And so he changed the law on that so they could hold, withhold a minimum amount. For instance, I had a client. She made $15,000 uh, for the year, and they only took out $250 for federal income tax. So when she filed her tax return, she owed money that she normally wouldn't have owed if they had taken out the correct amount. So with the new president coming in, number 46, he is uh, interested in uh, balancing the tax act. I know, I know that probably isn't, you know, in concrete as of yet. But the things that he was saying that when he was running was that he was going to look out for people um, that don't make a lot of money, you know, in the tax statutes more so than 45 did. Is that correct? Or are you familiar with that yet? Yes, he did say those things, but, you know, we have to wait and see uh, what uh, Congress allows him to do, okay. what uh, bills they pass. 
So that for that, we'll have to wait and see. But definitely, you know, the things that Donald Trump did, he took away a lot of things. Uh, this new tax law takes away a lot of uh, itemized deductions. It limits uh, the amount of mortgage interest you can deduct. You can no longer deduct employer business expenses. So, for instance, you know, if you do run a lot of errands for your employer, if you receive a, an employer, not a contractor, if you receive a W-2 at the end of the year and you have to take home work and use your personal computer uh, to do things for your employer, those things used to be deductible, and now they aren't. Uh, no longer can you deduct work clothes, work shoes, union dues, or things like that. So he took away a lot of things from working class people. Mm, okay. So um, go ahead, Miss Fiona. I know you had some more questions. I'm sorry you had to jump in there because I saw a little gap in there right while she was on that point. Yeah. No, it, um, you answered a couple of my questions that I had in here on what would be able to be a write-off. And so for as, as far as like parents, is there specific things that they have said that parents can and cannot be, are able to write off for uh, taxes this coming year? What do you mean? As far as like uniform, shoes, um, if you're paying for school, I knew a lot of kids that I went to school with, they were paying, their parents were taking their, their payments and being able to deduct that off their taxes. Now, I don't even know if that's legal, but. Right, I don't think that is. But I have heard of people um, deducting tuition as child care expenses. Oh, okay. And that's tax deductible? Oh, sure. No, I didn't say that. I said oh, I that people do that. <laughs> That's a good question, though, because it's like, uh, what can we deduct and what we can't deduct? How would we find out? Or is that just up to the a, uh, a IRS booklet on uh, for child care expenses that is uh, form twenty four forty one. Okay. So you need the IRS booklet uh, to explain. And actually, you could just go to their website if you have computer access and uh, type in the search bar. So that address is www.irs. Don't, don't give them too much information. You want them to come to you to get that information, don't you? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Hold up. Don't give them the website. Yeah, look, they got to come to the super tax hero to find out that kind of information. Hold on, man. Yeah, hold on. We don't want them people going to IRS looking up nothing. <laughs> yeah. Even would, if they did, it wouldn't be the way she would do it. Well, and then even if they look at it, they won't. They got to know how to interpret that information. So, and that's where, that's where you come in because, like you said, off the top of your head, you was like, well, tax form number 3645. And, right, uh, right. <laughs> you know, and, and look, you finna run it down. You can find that form over here. No, 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 no. We ain't giving it to them that easy. Now, now, okay. now, now look, now, let me ask you a question because I think right here is where this goes. The advantages of using a professional like yourself as opposed to trying to you know, navigate the murky waters and taking all them deductions that's going to get them thrown in jail, you know, give them a, you know, something that a clear cut, you know, why they need a person like you. Uh, as you said, because I've been doing this for almost 30 years. So I'm well equipped. I've navigated the system. Not only uh, do I prepare taxes, I also work for one of the major software companies, TurboTax. So I work for them as a tax expert. So uh, you want someone that is familiar with the law, what you can and cannot do uh, legally. You know, those are Ma magic the advantages words. Legally. for things that you may <laughs> not know about or, you know, your friend may have told you you can do something or th that they're doing that may right. not be legal. Right. Uh, or, you know, just credits and deductions that you're unaware of. Right, right, right. See, you said the magic word, legally, okay? Right. You know, so um, now I got a horror story that goes back probably several decades. Um, I had a tax preparer 
uh, put my taxes together for me and I got audited that year, you know, because he put down some stuff that I'm not a tax person. I just signed it and sent it in. And then they called me down to for an audit. The only time I've ever been audited, you know, by the IRS. And they explained to me at this audit that the preparer is not responsible for what you signed to. So has that changed or is it still the same or? No, that has definitely changed. Okay. Uh, you used to when I first started and up until about five years ago. I could, and I would tell my clients, I'll put down whatever you want me to put down. But when they call you down there, just go down there and pay the money back. Don't call me because I'm not coming. <laughs> uh, about five years ago, they changed the law. Okay. And you, as a tax preparer, you can no longer say that, you know, I just put down what they told me. You have to do some type of due diligence uh, when uh, clients come into your office. You have to reasonably, you have to know reasonably that, you know, this is accurate. And so when I sign the tax return, I'm saying that, you know, I, this is true based on what I know. Okay. So they, so now um, when they have a tax preparer like yourself and your company, because there's more than one person, there's more than just you, you have a whole team of uh, yeah. tax preparers that you work with under your company. Um, uh, do you help them with, with their, or like you said a minute ago, you're not going, but if they actually call you and say, can you come and help me explain this, you would go with them? Yes, if it's accurate, because sometimes the IRS makes mistakes. Okay. But, you know, if you just, like you were just saying, put down anything, and, well, no, I can't explain that because you can't explain it. You can't prove it. Right. So, you know, I'm not going to jail with you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know that's right. Go ahead, Miss Fiona. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut across you like that. Go ahead. No, it's perfectly fine. The last question that I had, because you answered just about everything I had on here, is there anything or any misconceptions that you can clear up about paying taxes for the people that are watching? Um, I mean, I'm not aware of any misconceptions. Do you have something specific that you're thinking of? Well, maybe we could talk about filing taxes and claiming children. It always seems that you can claim children and you don't have children, or I say heard, and then there's a penalty for illegally doing, you know, in that type of manner. Well, definitely. So you're only supposed to claim children, or not just children, but people that are your dependents. And so the IRS has a, um, in one of those uh, pamphlets, booklets I was telling you about in the 1040 booklet, there's a section where you can go and read it and figure out, and then they have a chart, if this, then that, but that, if you, you know, follow along and answer the questions, and it'll let you know if someone is your dependent. Now, what people were doing, uh, especially when they came out with the earned income credit, was disclaiming anybody's kids. And then people started selling their kids. Oh, well, you know, you give me $500. <laughs> and uh, so eventually, and that's actually illegal, but people got away with that for a lot of years. And then the IRS, you know, they caught on. And so they have put restrictions to it. And now if you get caught doing it, then there's a penalty. You lose your earned income credit for up to three years, I believe it is. And, uh, you know, then you have to pay all that money back that you got fraudulently. So, wait a minute. You mean to tell me kids was only worth $500 on the taxes? That's all? <laughs> no. No. Kids, so you could get the earned income credit, oh, okay. which is based on, yeah. you know, how much I, income I, you had I, and yeah, how many yeah, dependents you had. I got it. I was just trying to see, you know, the $500 part, you know. Like. <laughs> oh, no, because, you know, that was just one. You know, some people were doing $1,000. Really? You know? Oh, wow. Now, yes. that, that's worth you know, it. I'll yeah. give my kids like up $4,000. Like, somebody had five or six kids. <laughs> 
they sell two or three of them for a thousand dollars each. Oh, so they yeah. Got additional are income credit besides what they got from um, filing their own taxes. Okay. All right. That's what's up. Look, but you can't do that no more. That, that loophole closed. So, all right. Yeah, pretty much. Right. Yeah. Now, now I do know that um, you also do business taxes as well. So tell us a little bit about that. Now, I know that uh, that's where the part about doing taxes all year round comes in, because even after your personal taxes is over with, the calendar year for business taxes is a different calendar year. Is that correct? It can be. Uh, it's according to how you have set up your fiscal year. So if your fiscal year starts any day other than January 1st, then it's according to that. Mm, okay. You know, some people, you might have started your business in September. So mm -hmm. your fiscal year is going to start, you know, September 15th or, you know, whatever day it was. Mm -hmm. So that just depends on that. But yes, uh, we are Super Tax Heroes. We are the one-stop tax shop. So what, right. if it's tax, if there's tax in it, we do it. Payroll taxes, uh, sales tax, uh, whatever kind of tax form you need to have completed, we prepare those. Uh, also, I do business uh, consulting. If you're starting up a new business uh, to help people, you know, get their books set up and be prepared to file their taxes at the end of the year to know what uh, the accountant or your tax preparer is going to need from your business. And then that just helps people because a lot of times people is a sole proprietor. And so you're not really keeping up with it like you should. So, but I try to get people, you know, to start out on the right path. So you end up on the right path. And when you have all your books in order and you can pull out a balance sheet and an income statement, uh, banks work with you uh, because you look more credible. You know, if you have your credentials together, even if you are a new startup. Yeah. I, I, I was always uh, my accountant's worst nightmare. See, um, I, I've been knowing um, Miss Ray Williams for a long time, but she would never take me as a client. I I, uh, I would take my my uh, my accountant a shoebox full of uh, receipts and give it to him, and he said, "What you want me to do with this?" I said, "Well, ain't it time to do my taxes?" Then he would cuss me out and throw me out of his office. <laughs> <laughs> because see, that's another service. People with a bag of receipts. That's bookkeeping. That is not tax preparation. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. When you go to the tax preparer, you need to have all that stuff organized already. Mm -hmm. But that's bookkeeping. So that's a different service and that's additional fee for bookkeeping. Look, mm -hmm. I get cussed mm -hmm. out every year. It's so funny. I've been with him for 20 years. I look forward to my cussing out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I have clients like that, too. I have a lady that comes here with a year worth of mail. She hasn't, hasn't opened it. But uh, we just set aside. A, 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 actually, I prepare her taxes on Sunday afternoon. Oh, my man. office is closed on Sunday. Oh, and God. I just set aside that for her. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Because she's been my client uh, for 27 years. See? Yeah, so see. she was with me since the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I feel about him. He tolerates me because you know, I've been with him so long you know um but now um dealing with um approaching your taxes from a personal perspective um what are some of the most important documents that a person needs to bring to you for you to do a good job for them <laughs> So it just depends on their situation. And so usually before someone's going to come to my office, we're going to have a phone interview. And it, well, this year, uh, all taxes are being prepared virtually. So you can visit my virtual office. And uh, I have a client portal so people can securely upload their documents. But typically, you need your W-2. Uh, if you have dependents, you're going to need uh, their birthdays and their Social Security numbers. Uh, if you own a home, you're going to need a Form 10, 1098, your mortgage interest statement. You're going to need to uh, know you're going to need your property tax bill. 
Um, you know, it, it, it there's so many things. Uh, so you have a checklist. So you have a checklist that you go through with the clients. You know, for that's correct. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, and and uh, now on your website, do you have somewhere where they can sign up to uh, to get an appointment or something like that? Yes, and go to my website and click on uh, schedule appointment here or book now. Okay. And then, then, and then you will put them on your schedule, and then they, no, they can actually is take them to my calendar, and they can choose an available appointment. Okay. And then someone from my office will contact them uh, to do the phone interview I mentioned. Okay. And go over the checklist. Okay. All right. Uh, I see a few people online. Mr. Chris Bass, he says good afternoon. Uh, to Fiona and Miss Ray Williams uh, and myself, uh, I see Miss Paula Williams. Nobody's got any questions online as of yet, but uh, they're tuned in, listening. Appreciate you guys being there. Um, now on business taxes, now um, isn't it traditional that some business do quarterly track taxes instead of just uh, annual? Well, quarterly taxes is paying in what you think you're going to owe. So if you think you're going to owe, and that doesn't just apply to businesses, uh, it can be personal as well. Okay. But if you think at the end of the year you're going to owe, say, $1,000, then every quarter you want to pay in $250. So at the end of the year when you file your taxes, you don't owe anything. Now, the IRS would rather you do that. Uh, and if, in fact, you owe more than $1,000, there's penalties and interest because they figured that you, you just didn't pay in uh, because you were trying to evade what you owe. So uh, that's the quarterly taxes. It's not that you're filing a tax return every quarter. You're just paying in, uh, uh, estimating what you think you're going to owe. Okay. All right, and, and uh, to better serve the public, they have to get in touch with you in order to be able to go over each and every scenario and situation that could possibly best benefit them. That's correct. Yeah, and, and that website is uh, www.supertaxhero.com. Uh, if you guys go over there, as you can see, uh, Ms. Williams is very, very informed on all of the questions you may have her uh, uh, need to ask her to get answers to and uh, she would gladly work with you um, you know I got one quick question I know last year uh, this year this whole year uh, was an unusual year uh, because the IRS if I understand has still not sent out tax returns to everybody that's due tax returns now they filed their return but they haven't received anything of yet. Is, is have they given you any information as a preparer or how they're dealing with that? No. Uh, this year, uh, unusually, uh, as a preparer, I'm just as in the dark as you guys. Uh, mm -hmm. The IRS uh, has not been forthcoming about a lot of things. We don't actually know. Uh, well, tax season is going to start January 1st, so we don't actually know when the filing is going to begin. Well, they used to give us a chart to say, if you file by this day, you can get your refund by this day. We don't have any of that information uh, this year. But hopefully, uh, with the new administration, uh, we'll get back to the way things used to be. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, they're too busy trying to figure out number 45 taxes, you know. So they ain't, right. they ain't had time to work on everybody else's taxes. Uh, you got anything else, Miss Fiona, you want to uh, uh, pick her brain with? Because she got answers for it. We got questions, you got yes, answers. She <laughs> yes, she does. I do have a question. Um, now that Uber and Lyft is really popular, are we able to deduct those from a business tax or a personal tax? Uh, from a business tax, you can definitely uh, deduct Uber uh, expenses as travel expenses. Travel, okay. Uh, yeah, I was just curious about that. 
Okay. And as a, uh, for personal, you could only deduct that again if it was a business expense uh, on your Schedule C. Okay, and what's that's is the form Schedule C? Yeah, the form Schedule C. That's okay. uh, if you're a sole proprietor, you have a business uh, that's not a corporation. Uh, okay. You will use Schedule C to file that. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm dealing with business, I know we jumping all over the place, and ain't no just no one category here. We on everything. Um, right. I know a lot of people run out and uh, attempt to uh, establish a 501c3. Is that something that um, is still popular now? Because I know at one time everybody wanted to have a 501c3. Is that still popular? Not popular? Uh, I don't know that it's popular, but there are some people still doing it. Is you know things change, so the reasons that people wanted to do it in the past, uh, in order to benefit them more personally, the IRS has cracked down on that type of thing. So unless you're really you know trying to start a charitable business, then it wouldn't be advisable to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, and you do make recommendations on business types like LLCs, C Corps, S Corps, you know, did they come out with anything else other than that? Sole proprietors? Did they come out with anything else other than those types? No, there's nothing else. Um, you know, you can, if you're a sole proprietor, you can choose to be taxed as an S corporation or a C corporation, and you know, someone wants to sit down with me and do a business co consultation, I could explain to them the differences. Okay. All right. That sounds That's good. So, so um, uh, you have anything that you want to leave with the people before we let you get away? Because it seems like we just grabbed hold to you. ain't going to let you go. <laughs> so <laughs> what is it that you want to leave with the folks today? Uh, anybody that uh, calls and wants to have their taxes prepared and men mentions the Ask Dr. Ron show can receive a free electronic filing, which is normally $75. Oh, you're giving up discounts today. Did y'all hear that? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't forget to mention the Ask Dr. Ron show or, or my name or Fiona's name. Okay. Absolutely. You and if you uh, refer people beyond yourself, uh, I do uh, give a twenty-five dollar gift card. Gift cards. All right. Hey. Yeah. Now, now <laughs> I know she had them because um, we you were running a Christmas uh, special all the way up to last week, all the way up to Christmas Day on gift cards. Yep. So I did see that the video we posted it on uh, on Facebook Live, uh, and people got a chance to see that. So, um, uh, Ms. Ray Williams is going to be around. We're going to be talking about this for the next 30 days about the uh, Super Tax Hero business and this interview. And uh, you'll be able to review this interview over and over and over again so you can go back and remind her, you said you was going to give us, <laughs> you know, uh, a discount and this, that, and the other. OK, so mm -hmm. we definitely want to uh, encourage you to reach out to Miss Ray Williams, uh, her website, go over there, uh, set up an appointment, get that phone call in because you get busy. What what would you say is the busiest month? I know it starts in January. So January is the busiest and then you get busy again in April. No, the busiest month is actually February. Really? OK. So the end of January uh, that last week in January through the end of February is uh, swamped, like back-to-back -back appointments. Uh, slows down in March, okay. and then back-to-back -back again in April. Uh, then we have, uh, and then it's sporadic throughout the year. Then uh, around October, uh, for people who filed extensions, uh, we, we call that a mini tax season from October 1st through October 15th. It's busy again. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when would you prefer people to get on your schedule? In the beginning? But they got to wait till they get their, um, their, their tax that return information you. in January, right? Right. So all your tax documents have to be mailed by January 31st. 
So it's just as soon as you have all your stuff, because it is not legal to file a tax return with your last check stub uh, or any of that. So you need all of your tax documents. Uh, so don't waste the tax preparer's time coming when you don't have all your stuff. Okay. Or, you know, you have people who, you know, they want to file, they they waiting for three W-2s, but they just got one, but they want to hurry up and file. And then they call and say, oh, well, I, I got another one in the mail. Well, that's called an amended tax return, and that's another fee. Mm, okay. uh, yeah. All right. Well, Ms. Williams, we appreciate you uh, taking time out of your busy schedule to come on the show and educate the consumers. Uh, we appreciate you giving us all this good information. I'm glad I stopped you because I don't want you to give away the whole, you know, cow <laughs> and the milk too, okay? You finna give it all well, away. Definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> so, I'm going to do a training class. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, like go over here to the IRS site, www. Hold on. Wait a minute. We got to stop you. Let them come to you. And talk to you mm -hmm. and find out what they need to do. All right. Well, look, we are. Well, I definitely appreciate you all having me. Yes. It's been a pleasure. It's been our pleasure. Thank you. And we I'm look sorry. forward to having Thank you on the show you. again. You know, that's if your schedule will allow, because next month you might be in the midst of it and you might not be able to, because you might have to send one of your. Uh, one of your partners in your business over there to be with us next month. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Okay. All right. All, all right. right. Well. You have a wonderful new year. Happy holiday to you and your family. And uh, you all enjoy yourselves. And we look forward to seeing y'all in the new year. All right? All right now. Same to you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. All right. Miss Fiona, that was some good stuff, wasn't it? It was. I like information. Yes, yes. <laughs> So speaking of information, we got all of your stuff up on the screen right now. We got your Facebook, your Instagram, and your website. Uh, and we are so um, uh, looking forward to promoting all, everything that you do and then also inviting people to come back and be with us uh, next Tuesday uh, after the new year. You know, we got, uh, we're going to be bringing more and more information going into the new year so you guys can... <laughs> Uh, learn, you know, all that Miss Fiona does as well. Uh, so, Miss Fiona, you want to tell us about your information up here? Well, it's www.immaculateeducation.com. You can go to that website and you can find more details about what I do. I believe what I do is very broad and it definitely will fit what you're looking for if you're looking for something. So, it's www immaculateed.com and if you have any questions on there you can also go in the message and send it and I will receive it via email. Amen. Amen. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. You know and uh, just for y'all know I'm going to keep y'all informed along the way. I hooked up with Miss Fiona, one of her instructors <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to uh, see how this turns out so I'm going to keep y'all informed you know, and see how this goes, you know, it's definitely going to be uh, uh, an adventure story, I think, you know, but we're going to see, <laughs> we're going to see how it goes, <laughs> you know, shout out to Ray Thomas on the line, he's tuning in with us today, Miss uh, Katie Lowe, another um, uh, one of my colleagues in the uh, uh, entertainment industry, Miss Katie Lowe has her own show, thank you for stopping in, happy holidays to you as well. Um, I want to encourage everyone to go over to my website, uh, ASK-DR-RON. Check out all of the information that we have on the website. Uh, fill out a contact card. Uh, if you go all the way up to the top of the website, you'll see uh, those little uh, tabs where you can uh, go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe and like. Uh, you can also go to uh, my Instagram page and and uh, subscribe and like. Uh, please support all of our vendors. Without you supporting our vendors, uh, we cannot do what we do, and we appreciate that. Uh, like and share the show. It's a lot of good information on there. Uh, quick shout out to Deshaun. He's on the line watching. Uh, my brother Tony. See, that's why I need Spanish. See. If I learn how to speak Spanish, see Spanish, uh, Tony's all the way down in, 
in Texas. I just break out into some fancy Spanish stuff, you know, and say something to him, boy, you know. But I'm glad to see him. I'm glad, glad to see a lot of people that are supporting what we do here. Uh, we appreciate you all. Uh, we're going to encourage you all to have a safe and um, uh, smart holiday coming up this week. Uh, you know, tune in on us this Tuesday. We're going to be doing the show of the Four Horsemen talk show. We're going to be doing the last show of the year. Uh, and we're going to be talking about all the foolishness that's been going on in 2020. And, you know, we can only do it the way we do it. Okay. So you want to <laughs> tune in on that on Thursday. That's uh, 8 o'clock Central Standard Time. Uh, so, Miss Fiona, you get the final word. What what is what is it that you want to leave with the folks uh, going out of uh, 2020 going into 2021? Happy New Year. Stay safe and keep your positive thoughts. That's it? That's all? That's it. That's all. That's it. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> all right, y'all. We love you all. You all stay safe. And look forward to seeing you all on the other side of the new year. Peace and love, y'all. Bye. Bye.